Today, we are going to discuss about the screening for recombinance, the principle and process of biotechnology in Unit 8, Chapter 4 in Botany. So, in already we have discussed about the RDNA, how the RDNA is formed. Now, how this RDNA is going to, that is the RDNA is introduced into a suitable host. How to find out the RDNA? Which uh, host cell contains the RDNA? So, for that we need this screening for recombinance or screening for transformance. So, the technique is called screening for recombinance. After the introduction of RDNA into suitable host cell, it is essential to identify those cells which have received the RDNA molecule. That technique is called screening. So, what means after the, that is the RDNA is prepared and the, and the RDNA is formed and this RDNA is in, introduced into the host cells. And we, how, we, how we know this bacteria contains the, that is contains the RDNA? So, by screening technique. To find out the, to find out which host cells has the RDNA that is called screening. The vector or the foreign DNA present in recombinant cells express the characters while the non-recombinant cells do not express the characters or the traits. So in the RDNA that is there is a desired gene, no? the vector only carrying the gene gene of interest or insert gene. So, while carrying it, it becomes, while carrying the vectors are the foreign DNA was inserted into the recombinant cells. So, because of the host cell containing the recombinant cell, the special gene was there in the uh, vector which going to express the characteristics for what purpose we have introduced the gene in, a, in the cell. But this is seen only in the recombinant cells. But in non-recombinant cells, there is no vector DNA or foreign DNA. Because of that, it doesn't going to express the character. You understand this point now? For this, some of the methods are used. And one such method is blue-white colony selection method. So many methods are seen here. But the very well-versed method is blue-white colony method that we are going to discuss now. Insertional and inactivational. So, insertional, inactivation method or blue-white colony selection method. So, this is a powerful method used for screening of recombinant plasmid. So, you are going to find out the recombinant plasmid in which bacterial cell it is present. So, for this, this method is very, very powerful and easy to find out. So, in this method, a reported gene LAC Z, we have seen this LAC Z in LACOPRON model, which will code for beta galactosidase enzyme. So, the LAC gene is inserted in the vector. Okay. So, the LAC gene codes the enzyme beta galactosidase and contains several recognition sites for restriction enzyme. So, that is, it is a powerful method. This blue white colony selection and this has and that is this, in this method they are going to use the lag Z gene. This lag Z gene codes for beta galactodase enzyme. Uh, why they are using this means it has various restriction sites and recognition sites also. So the beta galactosidase breaks a synthetic Substrate. So, it creates a, it breaks a synthetic substrate called X-gal. So, X-gal is made up of that is 5-bromo, 4-chloro, indyl, beta-D-galactopyrinoside. So, it, this is the form, that is the form, the simply named it as X-gal. So, remember 5-bromo, 4-chloro, indyl, beta-D-galactopyrinoside. It is an insoluble blue colored product. So, it is an insoluble blue colored product. So, if your foreign gene is inserted into the lag Z, this gene will be inactivated. So, 
the lag z that is in the lag z uh, lag uh, g place along with that you insert the foreign gene what will happen this x galact that is beta galactidase hmm, is got inactivated that is x galaxy that is x gal is got inactivated so due to that inactivation of x gal which is responsible for blue color product the the, the uh, inactivation of x gal what happens there is no color blue color formation due to that what color is developed white color is developed so that is beta galactosidase is not synthesized due to the inactivation of lag z so due to the inactivation of lag z beta galactosidase is not produced and blue color is not produced and now white color was developed so therefore the host cell containing rdna form white colored colonies on the medium containing x gal whereas the other cell containing non recombinant dna will develop blue colored colonies so the x gal that is they are the they are transferring the some of the whole, that is host cell bacterial cell to the x gal medium the x gal in a in a petri plate containing x gal medium so there the rdna which has inactive lag z gene produces white colonies they are called recombinant cells and non recombinant dna they doesn't have this uh, um, the inactivation of lag gene that is the that is insert is not there so due to that they can produce blue colored colonies on the basis of blue color the recombinants can be selected so basis of the blue color so the blue colors are non recombinant and the white colors are recombinants so see this is a plasmid okay in this plasmid you have a lag promoter that is lag g lag z and this is a lag promoter and here the multiple cloning site was there because of that only they had selected this lag z gene beta galactose enzyme which codes and they have an ampicillin resistant or also and here they are inserting the gene of interest that is insert gene this gene while inserting inactivates this lag z which codes for beta galactosidase and it has a substrate called x gal so this x gal will produce that is is responsible to produce blue color blue color colonies but while inserting a foreign gene this beta galactosidase cannot able to produce x gal due to the uh, x gal produ not production of uh, x gal the blue color was not synthesized here the lag z is inactivate due to the inserting of the insert or gene of interest so due to that it can say as insertional inactivational proceed method also okay so while inserting now what happened this gene was introduced into some of the bacteria bacteria and you have to find for this you are taking a medium containing x gal x gal substance in that medium you are this is this consider this as a medium containing ampicillin that is ampicillin or iptg or x gal gal plate x gal plate we are taking there we are allowing some of the bacteria to go, grow the bacteria which contain recombinants that is this plasmid hmm? this plasmid will produce white colonies due to the inactivation of lag z gene okay and the colonies which doesn't doesn't have the non recombinant dna will produce blue color colonies while while doing this we can separate the recombinants and non recombinants so we can find out the uh, find out the recombinants and non recombinants through blue white colony method so this is one type of screening technique next one is antibiotic resistant markers 
an antibiotic resistant marker is a gene that produces a protein that provides the cells with resistance to the antibiotic so antibiotic resistant gene marker means it 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 will able to produce a protein which can resist the antibiotic in the cells so a bacteria with transformed dna transformed dna is nothing but the r dna it is identified can be identified by growing on a medium containing an antibiotic so what happens they will take a medium so some of the bacteria contains antibiotic resistance and some may not have antibiotic resistance so they allow the bacteria to grow on the medium which contains antibiotic like ampicillin or chloramphenicol or tetracycline or kenamycin like this any one of the antibiotic can be used the bacteria which have the power to resist the antibiotic will grow and the bacteria which doesn't have the resistance to antibiotic they cannot able to grow so this, by this also they can use the suitable marker or selectable marker to select the transformants or the recombinants okay so antibiotic resistant markers means a bacteria that is the selectable marker using antibiotic resistance by antibiotic resistance also you can find out the um, find out the recombinants okay to find out the recombinants okay next we move on to the replica plating technique a technique in which the pattern of colonies growing on a culture plate is copied so the in a in a that is a plate they are the in the plate the culture copies are the cultured plate that is the colonies are copied copied it's like a xerox machine okay like a rubber stamp putting a seal from one um, to another part like that okay so a sterile filter plate is pressed against the culture plate and then lifted so a sterile filter plate covered with velvet sheet was pressed in the sterile culture that is in the culture plate and lifted lifted then the filter is pressed against the second culture plate so the first one was taken from the culture plate and it was pressed and taken pressed and taken and the pressed and taken culture filter plate is again plated on the second plate second plate so second plate this results in the new plate being infected so due to that the new plate is infected with the cells of the same relative positions of the having the organ colonies in the original plate so the, the from the original plate the second plate was kept and lifted there the colonies are infected and usually the medium in the second plate will differ from that of the first so the first plate you have some some medium and in the second plate you have another medium so it may include an antibiotic or exclude a growth factor in the second plate in this way the transformed cells can be selected so i will explain with this diagram you will understood so this is the master plate containing some of the colonies of bacteria and this is the sterile filter plate which was covered with velvet so you going this plate going to be kept it on it and you, and press it and taken it and this is what the this plate that is this um, filter block is transformed to a new plate here it was thinking that in that so it was pressed and here it was pressed means the same type of colonies will come here but the medium will be differ so the medium here they use as agar 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 medium or along with the agar here they use ampicillin so ampicillin so this in this plate that is the first plate contain doesn't contain ampicillin and the second plate contain ampicillin so now they going to press from this block they have pressed here okay it lacks ampicillin and this colony is grows here and it is sensitive to ampicillin so they will sensitive to the ampicillin and they produce ampicillin colonies 
but it contains here it contains ampicillin and the colonies are produced here has ampicillin uh, ampicillin is antibiotic resistance so and it produce replica and here the some may that is some may survive and some may alive the allied one is considered as the consider having the resistant to uh, ampicillin and by that they can segregate the recombinants they can screen the recombinants so this is the replica plating technique so replica plating means if this is the master plate here the agar is the medium and this is a block covered with velt so that is velvet velvet sterile block this block going to press it on it and after that it takes two plates two plates so on the two plates it got pressed due to the pressing it got infected the plates are got infected one containing only agarose gel no ampicillin but here agarose gel plus ampicillin was added so agarose gel plus antibiotic was added here so what happens the next step the colonies grows here are ampicillin sensitive colonies so they are sensitive to the ampicillin antibiotic but here it contains ampicillin some that is the bacteria that is the if the ampicillin was there it will uh, die here they won't survive but here the ampicillin was there so it can able to survive and it create the genes that is the vector the vector dna recombinants were seen here which is antibiotic resistant by this method also you can screen the screen the recombinants okay thank you for watching the video if you like the video give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel